Hello everyone, I've got Vogzal Corsa D, uh, 1.3 DCD Ti, with the engine code Z13DTJ. Uh, the car has come uh, to our garage with the starting, starting uh, system problem. So, <coughs> Uh, if you turn the key to the start position and uh, nothing is happening so uh, let's uh, diagnose this together okay before starting diagnosing uh, diagnosing the starting system uh, let's find out a little bit about the uh, particular uh, about the circuit of this vehicle. So here, as you can see, uh, this fuse feeds the source voltage to pin number two at the ignition switch, and that. This uh, fuse is located in the body control module and it's constant life or it has source voltage all the time whether the ignition is off at zero, uh, uh, key at zero position or uh, keys out of the ignition. So <coughs> as soon as you move the key to the start position, uh, it connects this pen to pens number two, four at the ignition switch, which is uh, circuit number 50. And that's the output of the ignition switch to the body control module, which is connected at pen 31 to the body control module. So here, this is output from the ignition switch, and here, uh, this voltage is input at pen 31 to the body control module. So, <coughs> after the body control module receives this input and when the body control module receives every relevant uh, inputs and then it turns this or uh, it's called the output drivers it uh, uh, signals the tw 12 volt positive uh, volt to the <coughs> starter relay at pen 86. Pen 86 then energizes the relay coil and then through pen 85 it's directly con uh, connected to the ground. So when the starter relay is energized then the uh, here we have got uh, constant voltage from the uh, ignition main uh, circuit relay so then the coil attracts this uh, arm to pen 87 and it closes uh, this contacts and directly energizes the starter motor solenoid circuit 50. Then circuit 50 pull in the <coughs> coil and uh, hold in the uh, mo uh, starter motor solenoid and then the starter is activated. So what we are going to do we are going to uh, take the voltage measurement first here, which is constant voltage. Then, uh, we, if we have uh, source voltage here or battery voltage here, then we are going to uh, move the ignition key to the start position and then check at pen 4, which is this one, and see if we have the source voltage or slightly lower than the source voltage. Then we are going to check here. 
and then <coughs> if we had here source voltage then we are going to check here at pin 31 which is the same uh, circuit or same voltage goes to the body control module and that's going to be the input uh, voltage for the body circuit so and then we will measure me measure here then after that we will measure here whether the body control module has an output driver to the starter uh, 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 to the starter uh, relay uh, to the starter relay uh, 86 pin of the coil and then so if we have here source voltage and then voltage here and then we knows we know that the uh, our circuit is serviceable or working up to here then we will investigate that so this is the <coughs> how the circuit wo the circuit works so constant volt to pin number two of ignition key uh, ignition switch then uh, number four is the output for the starter motor relay then input to the body control module then output for the starter coil energizing then directly to the ground so as the starter relay coil energized pin 30 and 87 is connected together and that energizes the starter motor solenoid Okay, uh, pen number two is here with the red and uh, violet color and uh, I'm going to back prove this and see if there is any voltage available. So I have back proved and as you can see it's 12.93 and there is no key inside the ignition. So. <laughs> And also I'm going to check the 50 circuit which is pen number 4 and see I'm going to back through this and then see if there is any voltage available. So as you can see there is no voltage available at this point. Now I'm going to put the ignition key on, key in and then turn the ignition key to position uh, I'm not sure it's three or four to the start position and see if there is any voltage available. So I have uh, back proved the uh, uh, pen number four, which is the output signal to the starter <coughs> energizing relay. So, yeah, the key is in start ignition. As you can see, we have got 11.56. I'm going to release the key back and as you can see the voltage drops back to approximately zero. So it means that we have got ignition contact to pen 4 which is circuit of, uh, it's called circuit 50 which is uh, responsible for turning the, turning the starter relay on. Now. 
uh, we are, so that's that this is the output uh, voltage and that goes to the uh, bottle control module BCM and uh, it has become the input voltage to the BCM and now we are going to check that at pen 31. Okay, now I've uh, connected the scanner or uh, DC voltmeter to pen number 31 of the border control motor. And as you can see, so, so far there is no any voltage available <coughs> at the pen there. Now I'm going to turn the ignition key to start position and see if the voltage is reaching to the border body control module so yeah key in starting position now as you can see there is a 12.09 voltage is available <coughs> at pen number 31 so now we have become sure that the voltage is reach reaching uh, to the uh, body control module now we are going to check the output voltage from the body control module and see if there is any voltage available. So I've already uh, connected pens to the uh, input voltage of the body control module and also to the output of the uh, uh, body control module which is this one. Now I'm going to move the Group to the output side of the body control module and see if there is any voltage available. Okay, as you can see, now there is no any voltage available at that pen. That pen is uh, number seven, 17 and it's output to the uh, relay pen number 86 <coughs> which is the coil the power side of the coil so now I'm going to move the key to position number uh, four or four or three which is the starting position okay now as you can see here here I'm holding the key in starting position and see there is no any voltage available there so it means that we have got problem with the uh, 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 body control module so <coughs> what I'm going to do now I'm going to bypass the body control module it means that I'm going to connect the pen 31 directly to pen number uh, 17 of the body control module so I'm going to uh, reach the uh, uh, ignition switch output signal directly uh, to the output signal of the body control module okay okay uh, now I have by bypass the uh, bypass the uh, uh, BCM and connected pen 31 directly to pen 17 and uh, now we are going to check whether the voltage is reaching to the <coughs> starter relay pen 86 uh, power side of the uh, coil uh, of the relay okay now I'm going to take the starter motor uh, activate uh, relay and see if uh, I turn the ignition key to uh, starting position and see if there is any voltage available. So this is the 1086 power salt of the ignition power, power salt of the starter uh, motor activation relay and uh, I'm going to turn now the key to uh, starting position and see if the any voltage is available there yeah as you can see we have got voltage avail available at uh, 
1086 of the power side of the uh, starter motor uh, relay. What I'm going to do, now I'm going to install the relay and see if the uh, engine can be started. So I'll put the relay and now I'm going to start the engine if <coughs> we succeed. Okay, now the engine has started. So when we bypass the body control module and connected the uh, ignition output for the uh, starter motor, 50 second voltage directly to the uh, starting motor relay and the engine started. So it means we have got the body control module faulty and I will inform the customer and it's up to them whether they want to <coughs> provide or they want us to provide body, new body control module and that body control module cannot be installed uh, and uh, without reprogramming or adaptation. It, I mean that uh, we cannot uh, buy uh, a second hand uh, body control module and directly installed into the car and uh, the car uh, will be working, it's not. We have to re uh, reprogram in case if, they, uh, if we buy the uh, second hand or use uh, body control module. Thank you.